Hi there, this is Kazungu Duncan from Aero Productions. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you how I usually make my prints for mugs, you know, and I hope that this video is going to help you. Normally, I usually use Adobe Illustrator for this, but in today's tutorial, I am going to use Photoshop because it still gives me the same, same, you know, privileges that I can have over there in Illustrator. But I don't limit you from using Illustrator. You can as well use Illustrator. So I'm wishing that this tutorial is going to be as short as possible so that I do not keep you here for a long time. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. this guy has to tell me hey tell me why are you calling me when i'm about to start my tutorial oh i i was wondering if i can ask you a question okay okay w what question do you have Ca can you please recommend for me a channel uh, where hey talk talk don't don't be afraid <sighs> all right can you recommend to me a YouTube channel that I can find free tutorials about uh, maybe construction or the amount of, you know, uh, money I can spend on my construction? Quant Build Academy. What? Quant Build Academy. Search for Quant Build and you will find this Quant Build Academy. And this is a YouTube channel that offers free training on construction management and calculating the cost of your you know construction if you look at some of the tools they offer is creating new projects in archicad and this guy has a lot of tutorials which are just about you know uh construction and all these sorts of you know things that you're looking for so i hope that this will be helpful to you oh my you said quant build yes i said quant build academy it offers free tutorials on what you are asking me you can also find their website at quantbuild.co.ke and make sure that you know you approach that website. It's a good website which offers you know this also uh, provisions and many others. So go ahead and search for Quant Build Academy and here you will find the solutions to what you want. All right, thank you so much. So guys, you can also search for Quant Build Academy and you will find your solution to construction management and construction uh, tutorials which are free of charge. And make sure that you also subscribe. And now back in the magical world of Photoshop. And if you want to download any photo that I used in this tutorial, you know what to do. Find a link in the description. Now let's jump first into this and start as soon as possible i don't know if that's relevant to say but that's okay then uh, i've already made this document so i can just show you what i did just come to image then image size make sure that um, the dimensions are millimeters or centimeters so the width should be the width of a normal air four that is 210 millimeters then the height should be around nine centimeters or ten centimeters and nine centimeters into millimeters is 90 you know millimeters then the resolution let it be uh 300 then you know this will be just fine and of course leave the other things as as they are so just make sure that you have this you know dimensions and all that a quick glimpse of what i usually do First of all, I usually divide this into three. So you can have your rulers on. Then if I just pick randomly, just like that, you know, the, I don't, I don't know if they should be, you know, equal, but then I usually divide it into three so that I know where I'm working. Then after that, you know, I can know what to do. So I usually place my image here so I can just find my image, just place embedded. You can also just open it or drag and drop. And in this tutorial, I'm going to use this image. Where is it? Let me use this image. I think I like it. Just allow it to load. Then I'll place it here. Just like that. Just make sure it is well placed. Then hit enter or return so that it can be placed over there. So I'll just place it randomly, then we can resize it and do some other fancy things later on. Then what I usually do, 
for example, if I'm designing this for my own self, so I'll put like on this edge, I'll put the maybe my logo and some tags. Then I'll put the main message at the center. And here, of course, will be the image. So I can also find my logo. Just let me place embedded. Then I will find my logo. Uh, it's over here. Sorry, over here, then under logos. And I can quickly place it over there. Then I can now bring it here. Then I will resize it. Sorry, I will resize it. Make sure that you resize it from the corners. Just drag like this and make sure you hold shift. Just like that. That size I think is good. Then I'll put this up here. Just like that. I can also make it a bit bigger. Yes, that's okay. You can hit enter or just hit this stick here so that it is placed over there. So I have my logo. Then maybe I can put there my tag or my slogan. So just hit T on the keyboard to turn on the text. Then I can just type in, you know, just let me say like keep creating. Keep creating just like that. Then I can enter this to just because of, you know, design issues. I just like keeping things that way. Then just select that like that take the move tool but they i did a tutorial on how to use this tool so in case i'm going too fast find a link in the description and make sure that you watch a tutorial where i did a, you know full set of these tools and i explained how you can use each one of them then just hit return or enter to just place it there we can deal with colors some other time. So for this, just leave it that way. Then I want to place something here. For example, if I want to wish myself a happy birthday, of course, I'll put there a happy birthday. And if it's something like funny thing, like this message I used some other time, I can still copy it and place it there. So this is just an image that I had. So maybe, for example, I like this part. Chase the vision, not the money. The money will end up following you. So I like this tag. So what I'll do, I'll just hit T on the keyboard and then I will type in what I want. So I can just say, I can quote it because maybe it's a quote, maybe from someone. Just make sure that I quote it. Then I'll say, if, not if, chase, chase, chase the vision. And this is an encouragement also to you, not the money. Then I'll say, comma, the money will end up following you. Just like that. Then I will hit control A to select everything. Then I'll resize it so that I have everything in in this canvas then i can just you know now put in some of the you know editing things <laughs> just making things right and all that so let me select that and place it over there then i'll switch this off i just needed this quote so i am through with that i'll place it here then um uh, this space is being left empty and i don't like that so let me assume that i am wishing myself a happy birthday so let me just copy this and just select it then hold in alt drag and place it here to make a copy you can also hit ctrl j to copy it but i like using shortcuts so i can just say i wish you a happy bath sorry a happy birthday just like that Maybe I can add something fancy. You are more than a brother to me. Maybe someone else wishing me you are more than a brother to me. I thank God that you came into my life. Just like that. Hit control A to select everything. Then I can resize this. And later on, you know, I can change this. So I can say, I wish you a happy birthday. Then enter. You are, let me just enter again. You are more than a brother to me. 
then enter just like that then i can resize this again let me resize this so that i can at least achieve the maximum you know whatever i want <laughs> then what i'll do I've, I've realized this font yes i like it but then it's it's not giving me something fancy especially when i'm hitting enter so for example if i come here if i just double click here I like this new version of Photoshop. It's just more of like Illustrator. So if I can come back here. Oh, it's now fine. I, I think I like that. No, there's no need of making another layer. So let me just hit back. Oh, it's now fine. So I can say I wish you a happy birthday. So maybe I want this happy birthday to be also on its own. Just like that. You are more than. Then it starts from a brother. Uh, to me, I thank God that you came into my life. So I'll, I don't want these full stops. Let me just do away with the full stops. I'm not saying they are wrong, but I don't just like them. Then I can now take this and just take the move tool by hitting V on the keyboard and just positioning this over here. And... Even if I don't want to put them on different layers, it will force me to do so because I don't like the way they are appearing. So let me just, for example, this happy birthday, let me just hit control X and put it on a different layer. So I'll just put them randomly. Then I'll be, you know, I'll, I'll make the corrections later. Control V to paste. Then just say, okay. Then I will also pick this more than just like that control x to cut then just accept the changes hit t then just click on this canvas and then hit control v to paste then select that i'll also come here take this brother so i'll make each and every one of them to be on a different layer just accept the changes hit t on your keyboard just Put somewhere like there hit control v to paste accept just like that then we still have two to go so i'll just select this control x then accept then hit t on the keyboard just click outside here and control v to paste then i'll also pick this just like that and pick this control x then backspace to just give this the size that it deserves just like that then accept then i'll hit t on the keyboard hit on that canvas control v to paste so each one of these text is on its own layer now the next thing i want now to do is to place this you know uh text to where they deserve to be so i wish you a happy birthday so this happy birthday should be here so just select it and drag it to this place then i can now resize the uh, the happy birthday so that it is a bit huge just like that so that you know when someone is looking at this it attracts the eye that is the trick. This is simple tricks, you know, make your design look fancy. So I wish you a happy birthday. Um, so that is what I started with. So you are more than a brother to me. So this should come here. You are more than then a brother. Sorry. Uh, pick this brother. Then put it here. You are more than a brother to me. I thank God, so this should be somewhere here, I thank God uh, that you came into my life. So at least you have organized that. Then I will organize it further, just take this one down. I'm using the arrow keys, but then you can also drag this to just save on time. So you are more than a brother, I want it to be there. You can turn on the guide so that you can, you know, know how you're placing this. Uh, just like that so you are more than a brother so maybe i should increase this size a bit but not that much just like that then hit enter to accept the changes you are more than a brother and this a brother i just need to place it here and uh, 
you are more than a brother to me. I thank God that you came. Maybe some, I need to keep consistency. So I should maybe put the things to be like centered so that like the, the words or the characters are centered. So what I do, I'll just select this and drag it to this point. Then also drag this to this point so that at least, you know, it has some consistency. A brother to me, maybe I should achieve such a shape. It is, you know, something good to just do that. Then I thank God I can just take it here and make it a bit bigger. Just like that. Ensure you hold shift as you're doing this so that, you know, your transformation can be uh, uniform. Then I can just take it a bit up here. Then hit enter or return to just accept the changes. Then I'll put this here. And maybe if I need to just make sure that, you know, these two are different from this, I just select both of them and drag them down as I hold shift so that it maintains that. And once I'm satisfied, I just hit enter to just accept the changes. So this is basically what I'll write. And maybe to just bring in more of, you know, fanciness, I'll just change this font from Nexa. Remember, it's just here, Nexa Bold, to Nexa Light, so that I just have the, you know, the good font, you know. It's just for beautifying you, <laughs> your designs, nothing more. So I wish you a happy birthday. You are more than. So I also want this to be Nexa Light. I just come here, type in Nexa, and then I pick Nexa Light so that, you know, I just, <laughs> some, you know, I just need some words to be having a caption. I also want this, uh, a brother to me also to have Nexa, you know, uh, light. You can choose any other font that you like, but <laughs> for me, I'll go with this because I think I like it, uh, the most. So you can see it has added something, not, not something much, but at least it has, you know, just added something beautiful. Uh, I wish you a happy birthday. The reason why I'm repeating this is just to also make sure that I have the right spellings. So don't just overlook. So I wish you a happy birthday. You are more than a brother to me. And by the way, I don't have a brother. I don't have a sister, but I've just written this for the sake of writing. So I thank God that you came into my life. Chase, um, Chase the vision, not the money. The money will end up following you. And I think I should increase the size a bit. Just hold shift and alt so that I can, you know, get a good, good uh, transformation here. Hit enter to just accept the changes just like that. I think I like what I'm seeing. Then on this keep creating, I can either leave it this way or I can also copy this format so that this keep is at the center. You can decide to do your thing. So if I decide to copy that, I'll just double click there, make sure that keep is selected, uh, that, and I just take it to the center, just like that. And then I accept that and I can place it somewhere like that. Then on the image, on this image now, I just want to not have the, that, those sharp corners. So what I want to do, I want to create a rectangle that has rounded corners. So I'll just come here and select the round, uh, the rectangle that has round corners. I don't know how to call it. So just select it from here. And then just come here and draw over this shape so that you have something like that then release that to just allow it to load and put the default you know colors uh the, this color does not matter at this moment because at the end of the day i'm going to mask it out so it doesn't matter so much then i will collapse this and hit v on the keyboard to take my move tool and then I'll make some changes here to just make sure that it is fine. Thank you. Just like that. And over here, sorry, not that much. Something like that. I think that's, that's fine. 
you can zoom in so that I can take it further and also just like that. After that is done, I'll hit enter to just accept the changes. Then what I'll do, I'll make a copy of this. So just select the, the shape, then hold alt and drag it outside to make a copy of this. You can also duplicate it the way you are used to it if you like duplicating. Then what I want to do now, I want to place this uh, below, this layer should be below the image. So what I'll do, I'll just select the layer, hit control, shift, then the left uh, bracket key, it will take it to that, you know, place. And you can see it's now below that, but I just need to make sure that it is up immediately below the that layer. Then what I'll do, I'll just come here be between this line, between the image and the rounded rectangle one, I'll just come here and hold alt, the sign will change to that and click there. What that does is that it will now create a mask so that that image will be into that, you know, shape. You can also right click on the image and then say uh, create clipping mask, which is the same, same thing. Then I'll take this copied, you know, rectangle and just take it back to this place and I'll make sure that it is properly aligned like just like that. Then I will also make sure that it is below that. I can just drag and make sure that it is below that. If you don't have time to press control shift, then the bracket key. And then I will make sure that it's a bit bigger than the image. I just need to have that, you know, stroke outside this image. And I'll tick that to make sure that it is well. And if I just zoom in, Yes, I think it is well placed. Then I can leave to to have that color. It's not that bad, but then I can want to change. Maybe I need that color to, to be like the color of this color, that blue. So what I'll do, I'll just double click on this small square here to just open up the color dialog box. Then once that color dialog box is open like this, then I can now pick this color from here using the eyedropper that I've been provided for, then I'll just come and say, okay. So I will have achieved that blue that I wanted. And you can see it's now, you know, very, very good if I may say. Then I've just thought of something. If I select both of these and then just shrink them so that it is a bit smaller, uh, something like that. Then I'll put it a bit up, just like that. Then I'll hit this stick to just make sure that I'm accepting the changes. Then down here, I just want to write my name so that, you know, I'm, I'm giving this to a specific person. So I'll just write here my name and I'll want just to use this font. So I'll just make sure I have copied it. Then I double click on this so that it, you know, selects that and I just write there director Duncan A Kazungu, just like that. Control A to select all and then I will reduce the size so that it is like that. Hit enter to accept that and I will now position it to somewhere like that and just use the arrow keys to push it a little bit down just like that that is beautiful then i may want to play around with the colors so that this design looks fancy so i'll come and double click here so that this is selected and what i want to do here i just want to make sure that keep is having uh, a different color from creating and i i think it's a bit disturbing i might i might want to put them on different layers so I don't want things to disturb me. So if I select this, let me just select that all and just write keep. I just need to put them on different, you know, layers so that I can manipulate them differently because I found out that <laughs> it's, it's not giving me exactly what I want. But it's not a must. You can just select them differently. But for this, I think it is, you know, just hectic. 
So I'll just put them on different uh, layers and just keep the design the way it was, just like that. Then I said, I'll have different colors. The theme colors for my company is red and blue. So I'll make sure that maybe Keep has some blue, then this creating has, you know, the red. So I'll select this, then I'll come here on this color, just click once, then I will want to pick the exact red that I want. So I can click there or click on this E so that I achieve the theme color that I want. How fascinating is that? It's very, very quick. So I can also select this creating. Just make sure that the layer is selected. Sorry, I think it placed it somewhere I don't want. Just like that. Make sure it's selected. Then hit here. And also I'll just want to pick the exact blue that I want, not that. I think it is not picking exactly what I want to, it to pick. So I'll just come here and make sure that this is in the farthest corner, just like that. And you can see now I have creating a different color and keep a different color. Then I can still do the same, same thing to these others. So I'm assuming that my mug is white. So uh, with that assumption, so I'll just select this and want to put some different color you can double click to select it and come here to change or you can use that shortcut that i was showing you especially when you have an advanced you know uh photoshop so if i do that it will give me that i don't like that so let me choose a different shade of yellow or or orange so i may choose between red and orange I mean, yellow and orange and just see how it behaves. So I think I like that. I wish you a happy birthday. I thank God that you came into my life. So I think that is fine. And then here to just keep the caption and to keep uh, uh, things clean. So I'll just double click here so that it is selected. And if it does not select, I'll come here and just double click here, but then it has already selected. So I will select this vision. I just want it to have a different color. So I'll come here on these colors and I will choose the blue that I want just like that. I can copy this code so that I have same, same thing so that I have that vision. And I also want this money to be, I mean, <laughs> someone when he's looking is, is seeing First, what you'll see is vision. Then what you'll see next will be money. Then what I'll do, I'll paste here the copied code so that I have the same, same color just like that. You can see now it's turning to be something beautiful. At least some design is coming in. You can add other things that you want. You know, you can add, if, if for example, it's me, I can add some, you know, links to or username to my social media so that maybe someone when you have you are using that you know someone can easily go to um, your youtube channel or can go to your facebook and find some good things or when you're posting this to your social media at least someone can reach you out but for this tutorial i want to keep this as it is then the next part is to save it so what you do you save it as pdf for it to be printed so come to file then come to save i had not saved this so you can just click save or you click save as then this will load make sure that you say save on your computer then this will also load i think i did it twice so it should just load once then it will take you to your file explorer then make sure the extension is pdf after that is done, you select where you want to save it. So I have a separate folder to where I usually save my PDF, just like that. Just select this and hit save. So what that will do, it will, of course, save it to where you've just told it to save. And then you can come and put it in your flash and go to print. And this or pop-up will show up just say okay and another pop-up will show just say save and say yes so it will run that and save it as pdf and after it has saved you can now go and print it to your favorite shop in your nearby market and i hope that that will be 
so so helpful but another thing i wanted to do is to show you how to make a mock-up out of this so i'm assuming you want to go and share this to your you know social media and so on and so forth so allow me to save this as png png meaning that it doesn't have a background it has a transparent background so i'll just go through the same same thing but then the extension will be jpeg i cannot see uh png at this point maybe what i can do i can come here and go back to export and then say export us let me see if it will give me the option to export as a png so it has finally loaded and you can choose the uh, format to be uh, png from here but then from what i'm seeing it's not going to give me what i want so let me just hit cancel yes so what i want to do now i want to remove this background i think the problem is we have a background that is solid so this is trial and error so allow me to reach out to this uh background and just turn it off yes i think this will now work so i'll come to file then go to export then say export as so now it has loaded and from the preview i can now see it's doing something good make sure the format is png every other thing leave it the way it is you can also convert to srgb in case you're just sharing it Con copyright contact i don't want it for this time because it's not important just hit export then this will bring a prompt to where you're going to save your file and then i'll also still select to where i want to save it and just save it as quick as possible so i'll come to local disk d then under that i'll come to ps then into ps i'll go to png and just say save now once that is done i need now to make a mock-up so i'll come to my file explorer and just find a cup and just drag and drop so that i can create a good good thing from it just like that so that it loads so this is the cup i'm going to use for this mock-up so what i want to do is now and by the way we are through with the design you can decide to skip this video and watch the next video but again if you're still here this is just but a bonus so what i want to do i want to create a shape here it's a normal rectangle so what i'll do i'll just create a rectangle over this place just like that and give it any color the color do, does not matter at this point so once that has been given a fill so i'll just collapse this hit v to take my move tool then what i want to do i want to convert this rectangle into a smart object so i'll right click on this layer and come to say convert to smart object what this does it will give me now the privilege to add the image and i can now manipulate it here and there so come here on this little uh, square and double click once you double click it it will now open a new document called rectangle one dot psb so this is where we are going to place our thing and you know make this miracle come true so i'll come back here and what i want to do first i want to reduce the opacity of this layer so i'll just reduce it so i so that i see what i'm doing then once that is done i can come to edit and say free transform or just say control t as a shortcut then once that is done i'll right click on this uh, canvas and say warp then i will zoom in and just try to you know make sure that this is right just place this up here and also take this anger point up there and at this center i want to sorry sorry for that control z if you make a mistake you can say control z or you hit this to go back to where you were then just start afresh so i said take this to this point we are imitating the shape of this cup and also this one at this point just like that and at the center 
we can bring it a bit down to assume that shape. Then uh, this part, I'll take it inside uh, to somewhere like that. I'll also take it to somewhere like that and stretch this a bit like this to just assume the shape of this, you know, mug. I'll drag here and just bring in this like that. This will take you time to just, you know, make this. At least it should be well presented, just like that. I think that's fine. And I'll hit enter or just tick here so that that shape is like that. And I'll take this back to a hundred percent, the opacity back to a hundred. Then what I want to do now, I want to come here on this rectangle. Remember when we double clicked it, opened this and I want to place here now my design. So when you look at this mug, if I put the whole design, it will be just a strip. So what I shall do, I make different, uh, different parts of this mug. Then I can put them in one uh, document and post it. So let me tell, let me show you what I am, I'm saying. I'll just come here and maybe pick this part like this. And I can hit control G to group them or control E to match them. Or just come here, right click and say merge layers. That is one thing. Then I can drag this to our rectangle here and just place it here, just like that. And I'll position it just like that. And I'll come and put off this so that creating should be seen. Just put off that <laughs> and that will be shown. And I will now want to resize this just like that and hit enter or return. Then once that is done, I'll hit Control S to save so that it also remembers that on the other side. Once it is saved, I'll come back here and look at that. What a beautiful thing. Look at that. This is magic. I like that. It has just placed my logo and it has just placed the keep creating and it has assumed that shape. So once I've done this, I'll save it as uh, PNG or as JPEG, then I'll come back here and pick the second part, just like this, these wordings. So once this is selected, I'll just drag this and place it here again and just, you know, do the thing that we are used to. So I'll place this somewhere like here and just hit enter to accept everything. Then uh, this one, I don't want it, so I'll just hide it just like that so that I have the wordings alone and hit control S to save this. And after it has saved, uh, let me see, it's not yet saved. So give it some few seconds. Yeah. Yep. So it has saved and come to mug and see it has just <laughs> applied that I, I like that okay i can save this as jpeg and export it and again and again and again i'll now come here and pick the rest that is remaining and after that i'll just first of all let me come here select everything here and delete sorry and delete uh just like that come back on this my image and just drag this. I had already selected it, so I'll just drag here and drop it on this canvas and allow it to load just like that. Just like that. And now I'll want to resize this. So make sure that I'm in the corner and just resize this to like something like that and position it just like that. Sorry. Sorry for that. I want it to be at the center. And I think I still need it to just be a bit big. Yeah, something like that. Then I'll say accept the changes. Then hit Control S to save. And now wait for the magic. I like Photoshop. It is truly a magical world when you are in Photoshop. 
So it has loaded. Now come back to the mug and expect. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. I think I like this. Then I can also save this as JPEG. And after that, I'll take the three photos that I've saved and place them in one document. And that is really how to do it, how to make a mock-up. And I think these are two tutorials in one tutorial. And I hope that, you know, you find this helpful. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would like you to subscribe just like right now. I'm giving you a second. Yes, so thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel and remember to ring that bell so that you, my friend, do not miss any future tips, tricks, or tutorials. And you can also share this tutorial to your friends and your family so that they can also learn how to create their own mugs while at home. So I hope this video was helpful to you. And if it was helpful, give me a thumbs up and let's meet in the next tutorial. Until then, remember to keep creating.